Well, Facia is here with the weekend forecast. Sounds like it's going to be a cold one. A surprise, surprise. <laughs> like the rest of our winter, now we're starting spring like this. A cold front's been rolling on through as the evening went on. And it started off with just a couple of sprinkles, but by the time that front got to about Racine and Kenosha, it turned into a little bit steadier rain, but that's pretty much gone. And behind it, not much going on except a couple sprinkles, flurries in the snow. We kept about one to three inches in the UP of Michigan, International Falls, Minnesota, a foot of snow. That's not that far from here. And by the way, snow, this is a very interesting. This was a little bit of help from the National Weather Service in Sullivan. If there's measurable snow three more times here in Milwaukee, well, what that's going to do is tie the record of most days with measurable snow in a winter season or our cold season. And could we do three more days of uh, snow? That's entirely possible. I have a chance of snow here coming up. I'll talk about that in a bit, but averages 44. How did we do today compared to average 41? So a little bit below average and behind that cold front, what's headed our way? Well, there's Bismarck with 36, 33 international fall. So a little bit cooler air than we saw today and then it gets even colder for Sunday. And temperatures have been cooling down behind that cold front. Now 32 Waukesha, Watertown. So we're at the freezing mark. Same with West Bend, Port Washington. We're seeing as well 35 in Milwaukee currently and satellite radar. There's the low pressure. There's the cold front sweeping on through and behind it. Not much going on. There's even some sunshine starting to break out. Not right now. I mean some clearing, but that means sunshine for us tomorrow uh, towards Minnesota. But I think the biggest story for the weekend is the cold. It's going to be cold again, well below average, not only Saturday, but Sunday as well. Sunday is actually going to be colder than Saturday, and then it goes day after day of colder than average temperatures. But as far as tonight, there goes the low, there goes the front behind it. Not much going on. High pressure going to be in charge, but the thing you're going to notice all weekend, it is going to be colder than average. I'd like to see us uh, bump things up a little bit closer or above average, but that's just not happening. This pattern won't change. Our next system doesn't get here until Monday night. But as far as tonight, maybe a stray sprinkle or flurry. Your bigger temperatures, uh, the bigger story are the falling temperatures. 27. Now, as far as tomorrow, colder than today, 35. And it's going to be a little bit breezy as well, but at least you'll see some sun. Now, as far as tomorrow night, partly to mostly cloudy. Look at our temperatures dipping into the teens. 13 in Waukesha. And then Sunday, that's our high. That's lower than what our average low should be. So that's cold for this time of year. But I feel like I say that day after day after day. And guess what? Day after day, it is going to be cold once again. As we go into Monday night, there's a chance of a little bit more light snow. 